types of bond types of bonds in this chapter chemical bonding several types of chemical bonds is there several type of chemical bonds uh, that is ionic bond covalent bond coordination covalent bond hydrogen bond uh, like this several bonds are is there but according to our syllabus our 10th class syllabus only two bonds are there they provided only two bonds that is ionic bond and uh, another one is covalent bond and another one is covalent bond these are these two only they given for us ionic bond and covalent bond in this ionic bond we can call it as a electrovalent bond electrovalent uh, electrovalent bond ionic bond or electrovalent bond whatever it may be okay let's see one by one first i have to discuss this ionic bond later covalent bond first ionic bond okay how this ionic bond forms what are the rules to form this ionic bond any two elements for getting stability their transfer of electrons takes place or sharing of electrons takes place in that type of transfer or sharing some rules is there which are following those rules uh, while formation of bond that is called a ionic bond for example in this ionic bond the rules are the two elements must be different charges must be different uh, charges different charges is nothing but one is must be cation and uh, another one is must be anion cation and uh, anion cation nothing but which element is loose electron loses electron we call it as cation indicate with positive sign and which element is gain the electrons are called anion represent with negative sign so simply positive sign is called it as cation and the negative sign we call it as anion so the involves elements for ionic bond they have must to one is cation and the one is anion this is the first rule and second one is uh, must be the two elements are one is be metal and the other one is non metal one is metal and the other one is non metal positive cat positive or cation mostly are metals anion or negative charge elements are mostly non metals and third one is most important in this ionic bond complete sharing of electrons takes place very very important this point complete transfer of electrons takes place complete transfer of electrons now see one example for ionic bond now see one example how the ionic bond forms let's see one example nacl nacl sodium chloride common salt we call it as uh, in this nacl formation uh, what the bond is formed that bond we call it as a ionic bond how the ionic bond is formed let's see first of all uh, sodium how many valency electrons are there for sodium contains you already know only one electron chlorine chlorine contains seven valency electrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay okay uh, before going to explain this one small definition is there that is a uh, octet rule that is octet rule uh, the octet rule is nothing but simple definition octet rule is nothing but the any element the any element in the nature must be contains eight electrons in their outermost shell must be contains 
eight electrons in their outermost shell. Outermost shell is nothing but valence shell. Valence shell electrons we call it as valence electrons. So any element in the nature must contains in their outermost shell eight valence electrons. Eight oct means eight. So eight electrons except to hydrogen and helium. These are the exceptions for octet rule. These are containing doublet configuration. Doublet are uh, uh, double. I mean two electrons in their outermost shell. Except these two elements are exception for octet rule. According to this rule, elements in the nature must have to contain eight electrons in their outermost shell. Every element have to follow this rule. For following this rule, they are transferring electrons takes place. While transferring takes place, while transferring the electrons, the bonds are uh, formed. That bonds are we call it as chemical bond. In that uh, ionic bond, we discussing. So octet rule. Every element must have to follow this octet rule. Uh, let's see. This chlorine contains seven valence electrons in their outer motion. Seven, ele seven valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven valence electrons are there. So according to octet rule, this chlorine have to. Uh, according to sorry, according to octet rule, this chlorine wants one electron to follow octet rule. So that one electron I am writing here that one sodium valence electron I am writing here for our comfort that one electron this sodium is giving to this chlorine like this sodium giving one electron to this chlorine so now chlorine get eight electrons in their outer motion see one two three four five six seven eight if you write if I write like you can understand easily. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 electrons in their outer motion. So this chlorine contains 8 electrons in their outer motion. Okay, this is following the octet rule. What about this? This is also following octet rule. Sir, how? How this uh, element containing out electrons in there? Let's see, only 2 electrons are there, sir, for this sodium. How can you say 8 electrons, sir? Let's see. Sodium, 11 electrons are there. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. That one electron we are writing like this, Lewis dot. That one electron is donating to chlorine. So this one electron is donating. So if that electron is gone, that electron is taken by chlorine. So if you see now how many valence electrons are there? 2s2, 2p6. Now count how many valence electrons. Here 2, here 6, 8. For this element donating one electron, this element containing in their outer shell 8. So this element donating takes place electron. This element chlorine accepting one electron this element accepting one electron getting outermost configuration this element donating electron getting outermost configuration so both now both are containing so both are following octet rule this is this bond we call it as now ionic bond now check first of all these rules now checking i am Cation and anion first must be the two elements are cation and anion sodium electrons donating electron donating so positive chlorine electron accepting so negative this is okay next metal and non-metal sodium is a metal sodium presenting in first group element so this is metal and this is a non-metal this is also okay Next third one, complete transfer of electrons. Sodium donating one electron. So sodium containing only one electron in their outermost shell, that one electron completely sharing to the sorry, sorry. Sodium containing only one electron in their outermost shell, that one electron is completely donating to 
chlorine. So complete sharing also takes place. Following these three rules. While following these three rules, this bond is formed. That's why we are calling it, this bond is ionic bond. Like that, different examples we saw in our next video.